Today I want to show you Astro Gold for Mac OS. This is a professional astrology app from the original creators of Solar Fire. Many of you have requested that we show you how to get started, so that's what I'm here to do today. Now if you don't already have Astro Gold, then you come to our, west, our website, which is www.astrogold.io. At the top, you'll see Get Astro Gold. There are three Astro Golds, but the one we're interested in is Astro Gold for Mac OS. So we click on that. You will then see that lots of information comes up and you can read through that at your leisure. If we scroll through to the bottom, you will actually see some handy things like the um, online user's manual which is very handy if you want to know how to use the app. But we've also got download a demo, so you can demonstrate this on your computer before you actually purchase. Or you can go straight to buy now or buy as a gift. You also have the option of some extra professional reports if you want to take the original calculation program does have interpretations, but you can get professional ones as well that are illustrated and great to give to clients. Once you've purchased Astro Gold, it will come up on your screen once you've activated it um, with this little icon here and we just click on that and it opens up. And this, this is your opening chart screen. The first thing you want to do is create a new chart. So you'll see all these options up here, but new chart is actually under select. So select new chart. We then enter in the details. Let's do Prince Harry for today's example. Prince Harry, born on the 15th of the 9th, 1984, at 4.20 p.m. in London. Now, if you tab through, I'm hitting tab, it will actually bring up the longitude and latitude for you automatically. We specify male. If we're wanting to do a synastry chart or something later, that can be very handy. You've got an option for comments here too. If you're seeing clients, you might want to add in some comments there or you might want to add in a data source. And then it's as simple as clicking calculate. And we have Prince Harry's chart. There are obviously different wheel styles, but this is the one I've chosen today because it looks pretty. Now there are other things that you can actually do to this chart. And one of the things if you're beginning in astrology that you might want to do is look at interpretations and you'll see up here the interps button which we click on and you'll see an introduction for Prince Harry, something about his moon, he of course like many members of the royal family has got uh, degrees of Taurus in his chart so the moon's in Taurus and there's an interpretation. You can scroll through and you can see different aspects and different interpretations. Under subsidiary chart we have further options such as secondary progressions, solar arc directions, solar return, lunar return and if you've got two charts at the moment they're grayed out you can do your composite and your relationship Davison chart and your composite midpoint. So they're the options that you have to do as charts. You also as I said before have many different options up here one of them being the dynamic section. So we have an opportunity here to do transits, secondary progressions and solar arcs as listings. Here's one I've created earlier. And you will see that you can actually weight it. So I have weighted this report with the most important one on the outside. That's pretty good for getting married, isn't it? Pluto trying the moon and trying the sun. Other options you'll find here under Astro Sheets, which are basically our pages with extra information. You can do midpoint trees, essential dignities, which is one of my favorites. Another favorite of mine is Fadaria and stars. This is a recent addition. So being able to look at the stars and their aspects to the natal chart. You've also, if you're wanting to look at more basic astrology, got a basic wheel page or wheel sheet chart sheet whatever you want to call it and it's got all of the balance of the masculine versus feminine um, we see here it's not surprising Prince Harry with all of his earth has got a fairly feminine chart and we see that he's got a lot of earth you also see the nearest aspects and other information this one is also good to give to clients who are just beginning you can see the actual symbol and the word next to it and the sign and the house 
So you can see that a lot of extra information has been added there. You also have your by wheel and you can go up to a tri wheel. Another feature that is in Astro Gold, which is relatively new, are the Astro Maps. This is the wonderful technique of Astro Cartography. Now you have a selection between two maps. One is this type of map, which is good for printing out, doesn't use all your printer ink. The other one though that you might prefer for scooting around the world is actually the satellite one. So you have an option there. You can have country, cities on, you can actually zoom in. There's a little plus down here where you can zoom in and have a look. It's rather ironic that we've just zoomed in on the nodal um, line going through, Nam I can never say that word, N Namibia. <laughs> Maybe Namib we were not no, no, I can't say it either. <laughs> One thing I would also like to mention is the grid and the dial. These options up here under our toggles. For those of you who are interested in cosmobiology, you can click on the dial and then you have your dial options here and you can scoot around your dial on different planets and you'll see the midpoints. This is a very brief introduction to this complex subject but I'm just giving you an idea of the different options that you have and of course you've got your aspect grid here. One last thing um, and as you can see there are many options in Astro Gold and there, we hope to have many more is this is where if you've purchased the professional reports which are add-ons you can actually click, click on here and you'll see the different types of reports that are available that you can run through Astro Gold. If you need any help at any point we're always happy to answer questions and uh, you'll also find a help option up here and you'll see help email us and this is the best way to do it because it gives us information about your computer. That was a quick workaround Astro Gold for Mac OS. If you want further information please email us at support at astrogold.io.